hi welcome to this uh, new video tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can uh, connect angular with Soco socket io and start your development and i think you are familiar with uh, socket io i won't go into the detail and uh, in order to do that let's uh, bring uh, our ide here you are going to use uh, VS Code. So, uh, what we need to we need to go to the console, then go to the directory where we do our development, and here we create a new project, ng new, and uh, ng new Angular. Socket IO Connect. So then we take the default CSS no, and it will be installing. It is install creating and installing the packages. It just takes some time depending on your speed, internet speed, and laptop configurations. Then, on that one is done, uh, we need to open our folder it was this one Open the project folder. And then now, it's loaded. So the first thing that we need to do now is to install uh, uh, socket IO. So in order to do that, we need to Right npm install socket dot io it is installed then the next thing that we need to install is socket dot io iPhone client So once that one is done now, and for the purpose of this one, we implement a small messaging app, and uh, we need to add, create, generate a service, ng generate service, we call it socket. So this will be our socket service. Yeah. Once that one is done here, we open this one. Here is our socket service here. And yeah, uh, that is it. So we come now. And uh, we also need uh, to run the back end. And in order to run the back end, uh, we need to create a file here called server.js can be anything so here is our backend here and then yeah of course you may add it to folders and organize it as you want but for now for demonstrations purpose here we keep it in the directory so then yeah once uh, that one is done 
I will not go into right school it's here. This is just a demonstration purpose. So just to gain time here, we declare everything. For now, you don't need Express, but if you need Express, you will need to install it. And then, yeah, for this one here, we don't need it. So, <coughs> but I will keep it here, also put it in the repository in case you want it. Then we declare the uh, HTTP here and socket IO here, and then here we create our server, and then we declare, uh, we allow uh, a request from Angular front end here from the origins here with, with this method, get and post method here, and then the connections here are the events here we create to connect, to accept connections from clients, and then listening here to messages. Here we emit message to all connected clients, and then if disconnected here, you are going to post disconnected here. And then bam, here we going to launch our server, and our server back and server will be running on port 3000. So that one is what we need here from the back end for the back end and then we come here to the service for the service here we are going to do almost uh, the same thing I'm going to put sample code here And then we also need to import some stuff. Click here, observables, and then socket IO. We have the IO. Now, this one and we need to import it from the client. Here. So, <coughs> so this is the same, this is our service here, and here is the method for sending uh, the message here, and then we listen to the message from uh, the server. That is it, and then after that one is done, uh, we need now to come in the uh, here. I just want to make this one very short video so. make the code ready and here we are going to update the core and here we implement the service we import the service uh, packages so here is the message here and this is the list here and then here we are going to import uh, the service into our app component and then on init, we listen to incoming messages by subscribing uh, to our list. Then here we can also make send uh, the message uh, to the server using uh, this method here. And then the last thing that we need to do now is to add our front end to add our view and then here we are prompted with some error okay this error here we need to add uh, some extra components modules here two modules are missing uh, we add uh, Common module 
And then next thing is the forms. Forms module. Uh, it's not there by default, so what we are going to do, we copy the same thing, copy this out here, and then here we are going to search it from forms. Then it's imported. So our app is ready, and now let's test it. We are going to open two terminal here. One way we are going to run our ser our server, so we call it backend, and then here we run our front end. So in the back end now, we need to come and run. So npm run server and then uh, I will go with node self okay so it is running and one user is connected. So what we have to do now is to bring a, a client here. We are going to bring two clients. And then here we are going to connect to local OS. Oh, okay. Not yet there. We need to start our front end. NG saved. So our front end is running. Then what we are going to do now is to go to local host this you can see that here first client is there and then we are going to bring uh, the second client is also there running and then we start sending the messages hello hey then we receive you can see that thanks b so in this way, we are exchanging message between the client and um, we can really see how fast is it. I've built already so many projects with uh, WebSocket, but I have to admit that with Socket.io is crazy easy for developing real-time uh, multi-client applications. Yeah, I hope that you like it. So you can connect uh, your Angular with Socket.io and enjoy your development. Bye.